Morning guys. <coughs> We're back down checking them few beaver traps. As you can see we got a couple inches of snow. See some uh, mink tracks up there. Uh, down to this one set. The 280. I see this the swing stick there's moved. Hard to see down here, but Looks like it's set off. Yeah. We got a little beaver. A little, little beaver. Mr. Mink run through here too. He's up on this log down in there. Hey guys, I'll get this set remade and we'll move on. Hey guys, we're back down to the other couple other sets. You can see, I don't know how well you can see, but something been all over the beaver house, this little old beaver house. And when sliding around, almost looks like otter. Well, it could be another small beaver. Uh, I brought a couple of uh, stabilizers today. I think I'm going to change those two caster mound sets I have and set up these trails always had better luck with the trails than I did the caster mound set so uh, I don't know this trail here goes right over here to this ice but this is froze and I got that set there that's froze so I'll have to chop this out and see if there's anything in it hey guys I'll get back to you if I got anything Hey guys, well we didn't catch anything else. We had two 280 set off and one of the 330s in the caster mound got set off. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit. The two 280s that were set off, I'm gonna replace with 330s on stands. In the 280s, I'm gonna put in a couple smaller trails like that entrance over there to this little lodge. Uh, I had one, two, one, two muskrat, two muskrat set set off. Uh, I'm sure it was either the otter or beaver again. Uh, not seeing a lot of muskrat sign. Like I said before, all the muskrat sign is way to hell out there in the marsh. <laughs> the cattails and stuff. There's, I don't know, maybe 80? 80 probably 80 to 100 muskrat houses that I can see you know and that's not what I can't see in the cattails and stuff the bull rushes so another couple weeks hopefully I can get down in here all right guys I'm gonna get this 330 set up and then just see I'm gonna change another that 280 down there by that other lodge where I caught that big beaver in yesterday <coughs> Oh, that 280 was set off, so I'll get that switched out too. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can set the camera up. I'd probably not. But.
there. <clears throat> that 330 covers that run a lot better than that 280. Hey guys, I'll get the rest of these reset. Hey guys, last trap I'm gonna reset. I brought it back down the trail with me, heading that way to the truck. You see, I don't know if you can see, beaver or caster mound there. They've been going underneath these trees. The run is right there. They stuck a 330 down there. Blocked it off a little bit. They're going right up through there. Underneath those trees, out into the river, and they got a, another caster mound out there on that point. And on the other side of that tree, they got another one. Alright guys, that's it for the day. Get up out of here without breaking my neck. Uh, this little stream goes over and goes into that big beaver house there. The big marsh is out beyond there. So today, we got a little guy. I'm guessing 21 pounds. I'll, make, I'll weigh him when we get back to the first head. But that's all right. Uh, now to get across here again. I was crossing on them two trees right there, but I think those days are done. I got the chest waders on today, so I'll just scoot across. And it makes it easy with the chest waders. I can scoot across the big one there without falling and filling the hip boots up. All right, guys, until we see each other again.